Welcome aboard the Tabletop Express for a quick follow-up to Call Aboard, uh, in particular our January 31st episode of What's on Your Table. I am doing this follow-up to do a short review because there was one game that I did not get to review with both Ryan and Anthony, and that was Skyrockets by Floodgate Games. And it was one that I had a chance to play recently. Now, Skyrockets by Floodgate Games, uh, Skyrockets Festivals of Fire, to be specific. Designer Charlie McCarran, artist Silly Jelly, and as I noticed, already mentioned, publisher Floodgate. Now, I... I got a chance to play this one. Uh, originally, if you watched and you got a chance to see, we had a live stream of this game. And it is a fast-paced, chaotic game uh, with card play. It's going to give you some vibes of the crew and the ever-growing challenges that you get in the crew. But it brings you to that game of Kites, also by Floodgate, in, in the in the fact that you are flipping these timers over. Uh, this is not like Kites in the sense that this is chaotic. Kites is a lot more relaxing from, from the experiences that I have seen. But I had a chance to play this, and, and I wanted to give a little bit of my thoughts as well as my score. So first up, uh, I wanted to say, got a chance to play this. I did a few rounds with my son, uh, my 10-year-old son, Desmond. And uh, first and foremost, uh, I agree with the comments by ryan that this is uh, there is definitely some anxiety and i mean that in the best of ways and it is one where you are going to be thinking quick and you'll tire your your brain out a little bit if you were to play this for a prolonged period of time but i think it's that chaotic fun uh, it reminded me of the chaotic fun that i had when i played fuse the other thing i would note about this game is very easy to pick up each new challenge, what is it that you're going to do in this new round and having played through the first three or so not a problem early on in picking up how does this going to be a little bit different gameplay wise the, the core gameplay which is playing the cards and then be able to flip over your uh, timers uh, which are representing your fireworks uh, pretty straightforward and simple so for me this game was a uh, was a hit early on my son really liked it we did want to take a break uh three or four or five games in it, it didn't take too long that we wanted to say all right let's step aside for a little bit but we're going to come back to this one. And I think that's the biggest thing is there's that replayability that we can come back to. We're going to want to keep continuing along. And we may have one that we really like. If you watch our playthrough, which I was on the back end of, but Ryan and Anthony and, and special guest Ian were involved with, you'll see there was some pretty cool variations. And that was only five or six games in. So I'm really intrigued what's coming. And I want to note that in this game, there is also an envelope for when you complete everything. So who knows what's in that envelope? Uh, but to that point, I did want to note, uh, really enjoyed this game uh, quite a bit uh, from a rating perspective. And of course, by the way, a friendly reminder, this is not live. If anyone uh, tunes into this one, of course, you're watching this uh, after the fact. So this is a follow up to that January 33rd episode of Call Aboard. Uh, but rating wise, uh, I just want to say, yeah, for me, this is a pretty solid 7.9. It's just short of an 8 for me. And I'm very intentional with that because I want to see where the game goes. I want to see what other innovations happen. Because as I've looked ahead a little bit, and I, and I didn't look at the details, but there's a reference card. Very clearly, they're going to go into other mechanics. There's going to be a lot more variety on the way. And I think this could go up a few more points. I did really like it. If you don't like real time, certainly not going to be for you. This is a very real time game, but uh, overall, I uh, really like this one. Like I said, that is going to be a 7.9. And once again, that was Skyrockets Festival of Fire. Going to encourage everybody, if they have a chance, go check out our live video. Uh, I'll also make sure that I link to the review portion from our latest episode of Call Aboard. And I do want to thank everyone for being a part of the tabletop express make sure you uh comment in the comments if you want access to our discord happy to send you an invite and make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all of our videos including our every other week episode of call aboard where you can call in live and be part of a show with that i want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video 
And uh, other than that, uh, like I said, stay tuned. We've got some good stuff coming your way, uh, including a month with some two-player goodness as we uh, really dig into February here of 2024. With that, thank you for listening, and we'll see you soon here on the Tabletop Express. <laughs>